Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you're new, a very warm welcome on board. Please do click on that subscribe button down below and join us as a frequent flyer. And if you're a regular to the channel, a very warm welcome back to you guys too. We're at uh, the Mako Simulations Birmingham Airport scenery, which is really good. I highly recommend it and uh, if you haven't done so already, make sure you go and check it out. Um, and we're going to take a look at some of the very latest features to the A320neo thanks to the fantastic fly-by-wire A32NX project and today we're going to take a, a really close look at the brand new printer function so let's head into the flight deck it's live weather as well so time of recording it's absolutely chucking it down with snow and everything's going to be done for us via this MCDU menu so those of you who watch my live streams regularly you know that I use VATSIM all the time and for that I've gone into MCDU menu options AOC and I've changed my ATIS and Metar source to VATSIM as you guys can see there and the TAF source is NOAA now to use the printer the same principles apply if you're requesting weather data or if somebody sends you a free text message and it pops up and you read it um, the same thing uh, will happen if you print that out as well so we'll have a good look at the system and how it all works uh, so you guys can get the most out of it if you give it a go let me know how you get on in the comments down below as well hopefully you get good use out of this so you want to go to MCDU menu ATSU AOC menu same place where you'd import your sim brief flight plans uh, or sending messages and things and you now want to go to either weather request or ATIS so let's do weather request and you can click there to choose TAF or METAR and we'll get the latest METAR for EGBB I can go there and let's do Heathrow as well So I live not too far from there and I, I know it's snowing a lot at the moment and we can hit send so same principle we've got to wait for that company message to pop up and in the meantime we can return to the AOC menu by clicking the button there there we go so company message uh, has popped up on the ecam and we can go then into the receive messages area metar new and there's our Birmingham and Heathrow metars now to print it using the new printer function which is here we can just hit that print button right there so let's go ahead and press print out it comes <laughs> so good and you can read it here so you could leave it there if you only want to print the one thing but if you want to actually move it somewhere and you want to put it in a handy location uh, in this area here then you just click it and there we go you've ripped it off and uh, put it in the middle of the center console which is really cool and uh, you can read it as well for a really good view here now what about multiple messages so let's do um, weather request let's do Paris Chodogal and Madrid send return let's get ATIS information for Gatwick if they're online and VATSIM at the moment format for printer send so we're sending multiple requests and uh, we're going to end up with three pages now so I'm going to show you guys how to navigate between uh, them all and as before we have to wait for company message to appear on the ecam and you can see it's there already so let's go back into AOC menu receive messages and we've got both messages there so let's click on the oldest and view the uh, metals for Malaga uh, sorry Madrid and Paris Chodogal and we can hit print and out it comes click it to tear it off and put it in the middle you can see there it's gone on top of the other one we can go re return to receive messages on the MCDU let's view the ATIS information for Gatwick from the VATSIM network and we can go ahead and print that as well how that one comes click it tear it off put it in the middle and if we had uh, people sending us messages during our flight as well via free text, the same thing would apply. We can press the print icon and we could actually print the messages out here as I did on uh, a live stream the other day into Tonkontin. 
uh, during the testing of it. So we've now got three different uh, slips of paper here in the middle with various bits of information on it and uh, you're now wondering how do we get between them all so if you uh, go to the left hand side of the piece of paper you get the left cursor arrow and on the right hand side if we were a couple of pages back we get the right cursor arrow and it's quite simply you just click between the, the, the two so we're at page three and we want to go to page one press it once that's our page two press it again and we go back to that first page we printed out and now we don't get that left cursor arrow anymore because we can't go back any further but if we go to the right hand side we've now got the right cursor so we can go back to that middle page we can go left if we want to so we go back to page one or we go right to page three and there we go really really cool addition to the Airbus A320 fly-by-wire mod I uh, hope you guys get some great use out of that as I said let me know how you get on in the comments and uh, if you haven't done so already please do click subscribe down below and check out all of my other videos on the channel as well including some um, FATSIM tutorials to help you get started on that network if you're interested thank you all for watching and uh, be sure to tune in for a live stream in the very near future see you soon